Welcome to HGS Voice Pack's tutorials, Super Cruise. We're going to be using the Voice Pack Vega, performed by Brent Spiner. By the end of this tutorial, you will know how to accomplish the following. Use Super Cruise to travel around the solar system, identify planets, asteroid fields, and other bodies located in the solar system, use the navigation panel to select and lock in a destination, understand how to position the ship with the targeting radar, and learn the technique to automatically manage velocity on approach to a target. Your jump drive or frameshift drive allows for two modes of travel outside of normal space flight. The first mode is called Super Cruise, and you'll use it for travelling vast distances at faster than light speeds within a solar system. You actually control and fly your ship in this mode. For example, you may wish to travel across a solar system to observe a planet, visit another space station somewhere, or mine an asteroid field, engage in conflict, whatever. The second mode is interstellar travel, which is for travelling through hyperspace between two solar systems. For this session, I'll just be covering supercruise, so we're going to head out to another space station in this system. Extraordinary! Before we begin, we need to select a destination. Go to the navigation panel on the left. Navigation. Navigation. Next, we will look at the available destinations in this system. Looking down the list here, there's a fair amount of places to go. The icons show the type of destination. The place we're currently at is called Asaro Port. It has an icon telling us it's a station, the square with a diamond inside. There are many other types of stations too. This is just one of them. It also has a marker icon next to it, indicating that it's our current location. Further down, the broken line squares here, with extraction points written next to them, are areas like asteroid belt locations where you can mine or engage in other activity, like looking for unscrupulous pirates if you're a bounty hunter. Moving further down, the little round icons are planetary bodies or moons. And if they have a little blue spaceship icon next to them, it means that you can take your ship all the way down to the surface and land on them. Also, if there's a station icon as a sublocation next to one of these planets, like this one here, it means there's a manned station or base on the surface which you can also land on. Some have more than one base, like this one. Further down the list we can see that there are also other systems, indicated by a solar system icon. But we're not interested in those right now, we're staying in this solar system and we're going to a platform in space called Lander Enterprise. I'll select the platform now and lock it in. I do not think you are an idiot. Others might think that about you. Many others. Once that's done, it'll be in my targeting radar, and once I'm outside the station here, I'll line up my ship with the destination and engage the supercruise drive. First, we need to be far enough away from the station to be able to use the jump drive for supercruise. If you're near anything with mass, you can't use the jump drive. You don't need to travel far away from the station, just a few kilometres. You'll know just how far because we have a mass lock indicator here. When that light goes out, we're good to go. Afterburners, maxing engines. Thank you. These systems are vast. There is much to explore and discover. All right, that's far enough. Now, this is the targeting radar. It shows us where our target is in relation to which way we're facing. I'll line up the ship with our target so you know where it is and how this works. Keep an eye on the blue pip inside the targeting radar. Now, we're lined up and the target is in front of us on the HUD. Engage Supercruise. Supercruise drive engaging.
Managing your velocity in supercruise is not dissimilar to managing your thrusters. It's just on a much grander scale. Fascinating. The distance we need to travel is in light seconds, and there's a countdown timer that tells us roughly how much time will pass until we reach the destination. For now, we can travel at maximum speed until we're a little closer. Once you're nearing the vicinity of space where your destination is located, set your throttle to 50%. Your ship's engine systems are designed to cruise to a target and adjust velocity automatically at this speed. 50% commander. Carefully slowing the ship for you until you are close enough to the destination to exit supercruise mode and arrive at the station. In other words, at 50% speed you can depend on the ship to intelligently slow down automatically until you're ready to disengage the supercruise drive. Disengage. Disengaging supercruise. I'm sure the universe is full of intelligent life. It's just been too intelligent to come here. Arthur C. Clarke. Initiating docking procedures. Mass lock, referring to mass which is made up of matter, which matters to how the jump drive functions. The mass lock indicator uses the ship's sensors to measure how much matter matters. It doesn't matter right now, however. When it does matter, and the matter is apparent, the jump drive won't function, which will no doubt matter. <laughs> 